Welcome to the tutorial. First, go to websites and add your domain. If you have the Amazon Product Advertising API, add those details and click the Save button. You can ignore those fields if you don't have the API. So once you add the website, it will look something like this. Now go to the dashboard and download the affiliatable WordPress plugin. Now go to Plugin and click Upload Plugin. Then select the downloaded Affiliatable WordPress plugin and install it. After activating the plugin, copy the WP key of that website. In the plugin settings, paste the WP key and save it. Now, all the tables and boxes will be synced and displayed inside the plugin. If you wish to enable Amazon Geotargeting, you can make the following changes under Geotargeting Settings. We must add the products to the Catalog section to create comparison tables and boxes. Select the website, copy and paste the product ASIN and click the Fetch button to import the product details. The product title, images, description, and button link with your affiliate tracking ID will be imported. Then, you can add the feature title, multiple call to action, ratings, and other details. Once you finish, it will look something like this. Then click the Save button. Now let's create a comparison table. Click the Add button. Select the website and give a title to the table. Select the template as per the preview on the right side. Select Open Post Editor and click the Save button. Now when you click the Add Product button, the products added to the catalog will be displayed here. You can select the products you wish to add to your comparison table. If you wish to change the template, you can do it by clicking the Change Template button. Here you can customize the table's theme color and styles as per your website branding. This Apply Globally option is helpful if you want to update all your table's theme color in a single click. For example, if you have 100 tables and suddenly want to change the theme color, instead of doing it one by one, you can use this option. You can also change the table's column heading as per your requirement. If you wish to hide any specific column, you can do that by selecting the particular column. Here comes the button settings, the most crucial thing that's going to play a significant role in conversions. You can have up to four call to action per product, which means you are not restricted to promoting only one merchant. If you set the button text by going inside any specific product, it will be applied to that specific product only.
In the product settings, you can set the product title tag from H1 to H6. Also, the image size, link image, link title, rating title, rating scale out of 10 or 5, and other settings is needed. The next is Schema. Schema helps search engines to understand the content better and helps to rank your website better in the SERPs. Just give the exact post or the page URL where you will use this table or box and the author's name. Affiliatable will generate and implement the schema to your tables and boxes automatically. You can also add an affiliate disclaimer or any custom text you wish to display below the table or box. Use the preview button to check how the table or box will display on mobile, tablet, and desktop. The newly created table is now synced and showing an Affiliate Table WordPress plugin. You can copy the shortcode either from the plugin or the web application. Now go to the post and add the shortcode widget. Affiliate Table works well with default, Gutenberg blocks or popular page builders like Elementor, Brizzy, etc. If you want to make changes to the table or edit the product details, you can do that. After clicking the Update button, the changes will be reflected in your post automatically. Now in the same way, let's create a product box. Click the Add button, select the website, and give a title to the product box. Select the template you wish to use. You can see the template preview on the right side. Use categories to quickly identify the product boxes in the future. Select Open Post Editor and click the Save button. Now when you click the Add Products button, the products added to the catalog will be displayed here. Select the product and click Save. The product box will be ready. You can also customize it like how we did for the comparison table.
Now, in the same way, let's create a summary box. Click the Add button. Select the website and give a title to the summary box. Select the template you wish to use. You can see the template preview on the right side. Select Open Post Editor and click the Save button. Now when you click the Add Product button, the products added to the catalog will be displayed here. Select the product and click Save. The summary box will be ready. We can also customize it like we did for the comparison table and product box. In case you want to update or change the product details, you can go to the catalog section and edit the product details. After making the changes and saving it, the product details will be updated automatically in all the tables and boxes where the product is used. This will save you much time by not going to each table or box and editing the product details one by one. But sometimes you may not want to change the product details everywhere but just in one table or box. In that case, go to that specific table or box and edit the product details. Now you can see that the product details are updated only to that specific table and not in the product box or summary box. If the Amazon Product Advertising API is connected to your affiliatable account, you can check whether the product is currently in stock or not. If it's out of stock, you can replace that product and maximize your affiliate commission without losing it. You can also use the search button to check where that specific product is used. I hope this tutorial helps you understand how Affiliatable works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.